Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. If you look at my cards, you probably will notice that there are some things that are almost standard in all of them. I almost always incorporate dimension. This image by Verada Sharma Designs, You Are My Dream, is the perfect image to make it a focal point. I began by printing both the image and the sentiment on Nina Classic Cress 80 pound cardstock. I print my digital images on an Epson Workforce 100. This is a compact printer, but it can handle some of the heavier cardstock. I can print on Bristol Smooth Nina Classic Cress 80 pound and some of the heavier watercolor papers. This beautiful image is being colored with Copic markers. The open design and simple outline make the job of coloring very quick and simple. The flower petals are colored with R59, 56 and 81. I begin with the dark tone R59 at the base of each petal. I sometimes will take it up the side of the petal where I envision that the two petals may be overlapping. I then go on to my mid-tone which is R56 and then finish off with my highlight R81. I find the red tones are a little bit more work to blend. The color is applied two times. I often use a scrubbing motion where two colors meet, but this is not possible with the R81. The soft pink lifts the color much like the colorless blender. This happens with some tones. Using a flicking motion with both colors working towards where they meet will cause them to blend. A touch of W5 and 7 finish off the center. I use a uniball black gel pen to help redefine the stamens. The stem and leaves are colored with G40, 43 and 46. green tones blend beautifully and I only have to apply color once. The dark tone G40 is applied where I envision the shadow area to be. I then finish up with the mid-tone G43 and then the highlight area with G46. To blend where the two colors meet, I overlap slightly with a scrubbing motion. As you can see with the smaller leaves, I work on multiple leaves at once. This is very time efficient and the coloring goes by quickly. Because I was focusing on adding dimension to this card, I had to fussy cut the image. This did take a bit of time, particularly working around the leaves. In fact, I ended up cutting off the small branches of leaves at the top of the flower just to make it easier. The deciding factor was trimming around that one set of leaves and finding it so impossibly flimsy to work with that I cut it off. After I cut the flower out, I decided that I really wanted to create some variation in the dimension, and so I ended up printing the image three more times, each in a different size. I only needed to color and fussy cut the leaf clusters. Adding in the additional elements wasn't really that time consuming. The coloring, as I mentioned before, was straightforward and easy, making this job quick. And so was the fussy cutting in the absence of working around those stems. The flower was assembled on a black top folding card base that measured five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches, A2 size. I spent quite a bit of time arranging the leaves, coloring more leaves and trimming them out as I needed them. Once I was more or less happy with the layout, I went ahead and tacked the leaves together to create two larger clusters. 
That made it a little less cumbersome to work with them. They were adhered to the card by applying glue just at the base of the cluster. Just the flower, not the leaves or stem, were mounted on black foam. When trimming away the excess, I slightly undercut along the flower's edge just to get the basic shape. Black foam squares are added to the leaves. The flower is then adhered to the card. cluster of leaves at the base of the card are a little bit flexible. The black foam squares that are attached not only stabilize the leaves and keep them from getting crushed, but also help me to reposition them the way I want them. The three small leaf branches that I had cut off when I fussy cut the flower are adhered directly on the card base, more or less where I cut them off. The sentiment, hello, was trimmed down. Using the same markers that were used to color the leaves, I create an ombre effect. Starting at the bottom with the dark tone, I work towards the top with the lightest. As I mentioned earlier, this grouping of green blends very well and I just had to do a little bit of scrubbing where the colors overlapped. The sentiment was mounted on black sheet foam, trimmed down and adhered to the card. The tops of the stamens were detailed with some black Nouveau drops. The darker red tones had really washed them out so this helped them pop. The Nouveau drops were applied as they were drawn on the flower, not as a dot but in a more elongated fashion. Three green sequins were positioned around the flower and topped off with Nouveau Crystal Drops Morning Dew. To finish up this card, Studio Cash's clear drops were placed on some of the leaves and petals to give the illusion of dew drops. I am a big fan of adding dimension to cards. I think it adds so much more depth and visual interest. And this floral was the perfect candidate for this. And that wraps up this card featuring this gorgeous image from Farada Sharma Designs called You Are My Dream.